Gracie and I are at the coal mines today and where Gracie's patiently sitting there is a, um, I believe maybe a chimney, a mound that somehow um, was related to a chimney here that was um, connected here to this engine mount uh, foundation um, that's located between two of the mine shafts that are here. Now, in an original survey, they said this was U-shaped. I can probably, with a little bit of imagination, see that. Um, the fallen trees, which we spent a long time removing here, um, has really made a mangle of the bricks, as well as the um, stealing of the bricks previously. So it's extremely hard to work out what's going on here. But I've got an area here, and it's a bit of an artist's impression where my rope is of five by four but if we come up here to this side here and i haven't done any digging here but i've just moved out all the um dead leaves bark mulch and you can see along the side here where the rope is that it seems to um, be a raised section and this may be um, one side of the u and going around the back there and then coming back down here where my rope is now again it's almost impossible to see what's going on here but um, I'll take it from the um, older surveys that they could see a lot more back then now if we travel back up this side of possible U. I've got a very big hunk of sandstone there which is under the um, rope and covered in moss and then over here I have a whole lot of um, brick rubble, more sandstone and I believe that they determined that there was another little structure here but um, I can't see anything there at all in the shape of a foundation just more um, bits of brick rubble and some tiny bits of sandstone but you can see here that it has been reinforced with um, rock so that may well be the edge of what was there before now we're coming up here to Gracie and this is all spoil that's come out of the mine but it seems to be shaped here in a circular pattern around here and it seems to go no further along the back there um, I've got plenty of spoil here but it's not like these rock, rocks here have been shaped and I've got one loose one here and you can see there they are stacked up there um, not just randomly um, dumped I believe so whether this was somehow connected to what was going on down here um, as most things down here we'll probably never know but it may well have been um, where the exhaust fumes from the engine was somehow filtered out up here Now here I'm on the other side of the structure and the survey seemed to find a foundations of a building here, believe it or not. Um, but the bank has fallen down there. Um, it's covered in um, large logs that were impossible for Gracie and I to remove. Um, what we are standing on though here is the original tramway straight through there, which used to travel down through there um, to Plunkett Point and if you look at my video revisiting 1841 it'll give you a bit more detail um, on how this area was back then now over here I have an artifact and I believe this is some type of plateway 
I've seen this in lots of places around here, especially down at Plunkett Point, though it seemed to disappear there after a while. And that may have well been something to do with connecting the, the, the tracks. They didn't have railroad tracks here, but some type of plateway track. Um, I've yet to find out what it exactly is, so I'm guessing there. And I've got a bit more here. You can see there the hole in it. And here is a very heavy hunk of uh, metal. Um, again, unknown what that's for. Now if we come over here, I've got some very large blocks of sandstone. But it doesn't seem to be on a flattened area at all. This one here is quite big and dressed. And other pieces here, which seem to be some come out of the shaft as is. But others, like this one, are clearly dressed. More up here. And there's some under here where that moss is. I oh, don't disturb the moss um, as it helps to preserve the um, sandstone and bricks. If we come through here, there's a small depression here. Gracie's found herself a lizard there, which will keep her going for a couple of hours. There's another large um, hunk of sandstone with some brick rubble. And then, again, I have a piece of metal here and some type of piping, leftover piping there. And then I travel down here, and if you've watched this video this far, you probably share my excitement finding stuff like this is there's not too much to find down the coal mines anymore but there's a large hunk of metal here it looks like a um, part of a circular um, piece of metal I've seen something similar in, in um, my, at the back here which I put on the new feature video um, which seems to show it more intact uh, the one I found up there as opposed to this one here. And then just right beside it, in this area here, there is a lot of metal relative to what I normally find down here anyway. It looked like a piece of piping there. And again, it looks like this plate way. And I have a Another different shape there, more of a plate way there, and a little bit more metal there. Now, a couple of people have asked what do you do with this? Well, I film it, I photograph it, and I then um, note um, in my log where I found it, and then I cover it all up and leave it. So, find this stuff down here just photograph it and then leave it where it is and then the next person that comes down um, also has the um, privilege of having a look at stuff like this now we've had a look at this area here we'll travel back over to this direction And quite an interesting find down here to show you. Now there is a trench um, that travels down here. It travels down probably 40, 50 metres. You, I'm sure, hopefully, I've cleared it out as much as I could. Hopefully see it on the GoPro. And just here, at the start of the trench, there's a piece of old piping. And yes, I was very, very 
decided to find this. I'm still lost for words. Now we'll follow this trench down. You can see here the size of these banks here. That's just all, most of it is just spoil that's come out of the um, top shaft that's up in that direction. And then travelling down the bank are the cutting, whatever it is. I come across this and my birthday yesterday. So this is all my birthdays wrapped up in one, finding this little thing. It's some type of old um, can, maybe for lubricant, I'm not sure. It's even got a piece of wire here on the top where they used to hang it on something. It's seen a little bit of worse for wear on one side, but overall um, for down here, in very good condition. Now we'll continue along our trench here and we'll get to it here and then there's this raised section here. Now I don't believe this here was just filled in from erosion. I believe this was um, originally as it was. The reason I'm saying that is because I've still got coal on the surface here. So I believe this was deliberately um, shut off down at this end. And then when we go on the other side of this, it travels down there, but it's only a slight depression. And I know you won't see it in the bracken there, but it seems to be like a small drain going down there. And then down here, is a larger drain, if that's a drain, or it could have been a tramway track for a single um, cart that heads down in that direction. I'm not sure, I'll leave that for another day. So, so we'll head back up here. And I'm basically behind the bottom shaft, um, and this is probably about 20 meters away from the bottom shaft and you can see lumps of coal there um, this mound I'm at here would have been what they were digging out of that bottom shaft and it's coal 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 very small coal but there's a lot of coal which makes me believe, with my um, non-existent mining experience, that it's a production shaft, a shaft that they used to work to remove the coal from, as opposed to an air shaft that used to feed air down there, or a exploratory shaft where they went down and found nothing. So I'll head back up this um, channel drain cutting, and past that beautiful old can and then at this end of it just behind the pipe there it seems to be raised there now some of this might be erosion I'm not sure but it seems to be definitely the soils filled in um, on that side as well as the um, other end that we, we just came from so what we'll do now is just have a quick look around of the area to you, um, if you haven't watched the uh, 1841 video um, and we'll put together maybe some ideas of what was going on here. So I'm now west of the um, engine mount and if I was to walk from the engine mount right to the middle of this shaft here it would be probably about 25 to 28 paces, my paces. Uh, this shaft is a little bit wider than it was originally. I believe this was the one that was built in 1839, which is on that 
video um, revisiting 1841, which is when the actual photo, uh, drawings were taken. But they worked this, I think, from 1839 to maybe 1842, and then they moved to the top of the hill um, where the main shaft was due to flooding um, in this shaft here. This shaft here, when the convicts were working it, um, it was used manually to wind um, up the coal as well as um, manually pump the water out. Now just in here, we have the tramway, the double track, double track tramway that went straight down through there. Now there in the distance, we're almost uh, directly below the foundation um, and we're also on the tramway itself that comes down and then it comes to here where there's another mine shaft. And on the other side of that bush there is where they used to screen the coal and there's a inclined plane, not the one that you walk around on the area here, but another one that used to go all the way down to Plunkett Point. Again, have a look at the other video and it'll give you a better explanation on that. Just to make it clear, if I didn't in the video, uh, this engine was um, operated by the civilians that leased the coal mines from the governments after the convicts left in 1848. The convicts only used one um, steam engine here, I believe, and that was at the main shaft itself. Now the question that needs to be answered, for me anyway, is why is this engine mount so far away from the shafts? Um, as I said before, it's 25 odd steps up to that shaft, and it's 25 odd steps down to that shaft, so we're right in the middle. And if you look at my video um, chimney stack, you'll see that the um, foundations for an engine that was there previously was probably only about 10 metres away from the shaft. And then you look at the main shaft itself, uh, the engine and boiler were right beside uh, the lip of the shaft. So what I'm proposing here is that this engine was used to work this top shaft after the convicts left and even though it flooded and the convicts left it by 1842 the power of en the engine would have been enough to draw the water out and enable it to um, further mining to take place and the, the coal would have been removed and brought down the incline or the trucks that they had here and that would have traveled down here towards the inclined plane uh, and then to Plunkett Point. This building here, and I don't think it was a building, it was more a foundation for something. There's no limestone on any of these um, bricks that are here and there's no sandstone that I see on this side. Um, what I'm proposing is this was built at a later date after they'd finished working that mine altogether. And once they closed that mine up or finished working, then this shaft here was dug and then this engine here was used to service that shaft and then the coal was taken out of the other side of that shaft and then used the same inclined plane to go down to Plunkett Point. Now as for our channel here, I'm calling it a channel now, it's closed at both ends and what I'm proposing here is that the engine was pumping um, from either shaft and then the water from there was diverted down to here and then with the ends closed they could have used that as a reservoir um, when they needed water to for the boiler um, pressure vessel on the um, connected to the steam engine and if the water level got too high here it could run over that end wall um, section down that little culvert type thing that, that appeared to be heading um, in the far direction. Uh, whether any of this turns out to be 
fact or fiction. Um, we may never know. But anyway, there you have it. The engine mount at the coal mines. After about 45 minutes of our numerous takes, Gracie is still looking for that lizard. How'd you go, little girl?